On Fields to Forks today, we're finding out a little bit about the Manitoba chicken producers. And joining us all the way from Blumenort, Manitoba, is Andrew Rymers. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Terry. So you're a chicken farmer. Tell me a little bit about your farm. Well, um, I am a fifth generation grain and chicken farmer from Luminart, like you said. Uh, I farm together with my dad, wife, and four kids, and I've been farming my whole life, and I can't imagine doing anything else. It's in the blood, obviously. What is it that you love about it? Well, I love the variety of work I get to do. I get to work with my hands to create a product that people uh, love and enjoy. I really enjoy the process it takes, uh, placing the chicks in our barns, or seeding our fields and uh, taking care of the grain and the chickens until harvest. And then at the end, I have a product that other people can enjoy. I also love the lifestyle. Like I get to farm with my family. I can take my kids with me in the barns and on the fields and, and show them how to farm as well. This sounds like a really beautiful work-life balance that you have going on out there. And also, I'm sure very rewarding because you've now partnered with Harvest Manitoba. Tell us a little bit about this program. Yeah, well, the Caring for Communities program um, was a program that was started in July of 2020 when uh, Manitoba Chicken Producers Director uh, heard there was a need for nutritious lean protein for uh, Harvest Manitoba's clients. Uh, so this program was created so our local chicken farmers could address that need by donating whole chickens directly from their own pro uh, production facilities. The pro program has had tremendous uptake by the majority of our farmers, many of them friends and neighbors of mine. Um, and currently as a group, we are able to donate about a thousand chickens per week to Harvest Manitoba at no cost to the food bank. That really is remarkable work and much needed. So thank you for all that you do there. Uh, I had a question. What's the difference between a chicken farmer and an egg farmer? There is a difference, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In our barns, uh, we raise uh, chickens for meat consumption. They're only in our barns for about five weeks, uh, and that's not old enough for them to start uh, producing eggs. And, but an egg layer operation is just eggs, not meat. Excellent. Both very important, but certainly I would love to know uh, what, uh, what your day looks like. Can you kind of walk us through it? Well, absolutely. I get up in the morning, and usually the first thing I do after my cup of coffee is... Uh, Go check my chickens, um, you know, make sure that they're, I go into each barn, make sure they're, uh, they're comfortable, the environmental conditions are, are perfect for them, they got feed and water, and uh, that they're happy. And then I go about my day doing other things, whether it's, you know, office work, uh, fixing equipment. Um, yeah, that's, that's my day. Sounds fascinating. I love that you're able to take the kids along with you. I'm sure it's such an education, hands-on for them. Thank you so much for yep. joining us this morning, Andrew, and sharing all of this with us. Yeah, no problem, Terry. Thanks for the opportunity. Learn more at fieldstoforks.ca.